So with the latest round of Sunday previews, Games Workshop has quietly announced the new Zinch Vanguard set, and with it the death of the old start collecting demons of Zinch. Welcome back to Budget Wa, and today we'll be going over which of these three box sets gives you the best value for your money and the best value on the tabletop. So today I'll be giving my first impressions of the newly announced Zinch Vanguard kit. We'll start by going over what you get in the box in terms of models. Now the new Battle Tome has yet to be released at the time of this video, but we'll be talking in broad strokes in terms of uh, what kinds of units you can expect to get in the box, and we'll go over some of the new rules we've gleaned from the Arcane Cataclysm set. We'll then focus primarily on the pricing and overall value of the box, and we'll compare it with the two other main box sets you might want to think about picking up if you're looking to start Zinch or expand your collection, Arcane Cataclysm, and the newly retired Start Collecting Kit. Okay, let's talk about what you're getting in the new Vanguard box. First off, let's talk about the hero. You're getting the Magister on Disc of Zinch. He's a flying wizard with uh, great mobility at 16 inches. And it seems like he'll likely be a solid utility caster. That mobility is quite powerful, uh, which is true of a lot of units in Zinch. Uh, currently, he has the Bolt of Change spell, which I kind of hope they keep because it's very fun and iconic for Zinch. It, essentially, you do a couple mortal wounds to an enemy, and if you kill any models in the unit, you get to summon a Chaos Spawn, meaning that the units that died were changed into a chaos spawn which is pretty fun uh currently runs at 145 points we'll have to wait and see whether picking up multiples uh, if you would be actually wanting to use multiples of these in your army but you may be able to convert it to like a zangor shaman on the disc if you get creative we'll have to see you get a unit of zangors which is one of your standard battle line options or the zangor host as they're now known they saw points increased to 200 points and rules updates their war scrolls now available on the app thanks to the release of arcane cataclysm uh, they can pump out a decent number of attacks with three attacks each two out of every five will get rend and additional damage with the great blade they do seem a little on the pricey side at 200 points for a battle line unit, especially in the current meta where you can expect your Galatian veterans to get torn up by any bounty hunters, but we'll have to see what synergies they gain in the new battle tome. Acolytes are your cheaper battle line option and they seem to have remained at 120 points and they seem relatively similar to the old war scroll looking over the new one from Arcane Cataclysm. They retain an 18 inch missile attack um, which gains rend as long as you have one of the guys with the scroll. And uh, now the Volchark, um, 1 out of 10, can have the little bird pet, and he'll go peck out the eyes of any enemy wizards that are so brazen as to cast a spell in front of your Zinch forces on a 4-up. Uh, they take a mortal wound. It's a, it's a fun little thematic touch. Now do note you're only getting 10 of these in the Vanguard set. You're not getting 20 like you would with Arcane Cataclysm or if you bought a box of Acolytes. Uh, you get a unit of flamers and a unit of screamers as well we'll have to wait and see what updates there are to the rules but expect to see the flamers maintain some sort of high wound output against crowds with their warp flame ability and the screamers are cheap mobile unit for flying around the battlefield contesting points uh, griefing your opponent um, currently they have this ability where if you pass over an enemy unit which should be relatively easy to do with their high movement um, that unit takes a little bit of mortal wounds so let's get into pricing and value uh, the Magister on disc currently runs for $38 on the GW website. Zangors are $50. Uh, Kyric Acolytes, you're only getting half of the box, which runs for $55, so they're valued at $27.5. And, and then the Flamers and Screamers are $35 each. Now, these are all, of course, MSRP Games Workshop prices. You can find these units individually from other retailers at a discount oftentimes. But the total price of the Vanguard set, we can expect to be $130, uh, which has been what all of the new Vanguard sets have been running for. And the total value, if you add up the value of everything included in the box, is $185.50 US. So that leads to a savings of only 30%, or $55 off 
um, which is below average for these new Vanguard sets. Let's compare it to some of the other sets available. So comparing the new Vanguard set with the old Start Collecting Demons of Zinch, immediately you can see the MSRP has gone up by $35. The old Start Collecting box was actually available until very recently on the Games Workshop site. If you saw my Start Collecting tier list video, it was still available at the time I uploaded that video, and the price was $95 um, just a couple weeks ago. The value you get in the new Vanguard set is $185 total compared to $162 worth of value if you were to buy the contents of the Start Collecting box individually. As a reminder, in the Start Collecting box, you get the Fate Skimmer kit, um, which is the new name for the Chariot kit. Essentially, you can build either the Herald of Zinch on the Chariot or the Exalted Flamer on the Chariot, and then you get the other one on foot. You're also getting a unit of Horrors, a unit of Screamers, and a unit of Flamers. That all comes down to a whopping 41% total savings for the old Start Collecting box versus only 30% for the new Vanguard kit. And as if to add a little insult to injury, you're also getting a lot more on the tabletop in the old Start Collecting box. Uh, currently, you're getting 850 to 860 points worth of models in the old Start Collecting box, as opposed to only 755. Now, while points aren't everything, I would argue the old Start Collecting box is a little more versatile. You get some options as to what you want to have on the Chariot versus which you want to have on foot with the Herald versus Exalted Flamer. And you're also getting Pink Horrors in the Start Collecting box. Now the downside of that is that you do have to then go out and buy blue and brimstone horrors unless you prefer to use the petty revenge rule, which you should if you're a beginner starting out before investing in new kits. But um, that's maybe the one thing that the Vanguard box has over the old start collecting box. Everything's basically ready to go on its own out of the Vanguard box versus leading you to need to go buy those blue horrors and brimstones. So while the Start Collecting box has been pulled from the website, Arcane Cataclysm, the battle box between Zinch and Lumineth, is still available and runs for $220 on the Games Workshop website. Now this is a higher cost of entry uh, for sure, but it represents a value of almost $415 when you add up everything in the box. Check out my other video on the Arcane Cataclysm set if you want full details of both armies. But we'll quickly review what you get for Zinch. You're getting the new Cursling model, which I expect to run about $35 or so based on similar Zinch heroes. You're getting the Zangor Host for $50. You're getting the Zangor Enlightened Kit, which adds some versatility because you can build these as either Zangor Enlightened on foot, Zangor Enlightened on disc, or Skyfires on disc, which are a ranged version. It's $55. And you're getting a full box of 20 Acolytes, which is valued at $55. On top of that, you're getting about $220 worth of Lumineth models for a total savings of 47%. That's a pretty big savings for a Games Workshop box. And if you can find a friend who plays Lumineth or is interested in Lumineth to split the box with you, or even just sell the Lumineth half online, this is just a much better savings than the Vanguard kit. You're also getting much more points. You're getting about 805 to 830 points of Zinch, depending on how you choose to build your Zangors on disc. And you're getting 635 points of Lumineth compared to the 755 points you get in the Vanguard set. I also like the choice of units that you're getting in Arcane Cataclysm better than what we're seeing in Vanguard. We'll still have to see the new Battle Tome for sure, but it seems to be more of a Mortals focused list. Now, I expect the delineation between Mortals and Demons armies to be a little more integrated in the new Battle Tome, similar to what we saw with uh, Nurgle. For example, second edition really kind of pushed you towards one or the other. Um, and third edition kind of lets you play with all the toys more has been the direction GW has been going in. That being said, you're getting more versatility with the Zangors on disc in the box. Um, you're getting the brand new Cursling model, which is really cool new sculpt. So something to think about. This may be a better way to get into the army if you're starting out now. 
So it's starting to look like even for Zinch, the new change may be bad. 30% savings for a Vanguard box is close to the benchmark where GW usually puts these box, but it's below average. Most of the Vanguard sets have been running somewhere between a 32 to 35% savings. Um, Night Haunt, for instance, is one of the better ones at 35. Nurgle's at about 32. So 30% is certainly on the lower end, although not that much different. But to start collecting Zinch box is a better value, more versatile, and has more points in the box. Unfortunately, it's already selling out on online retailers. Oh, at the time of me making this video, it's not available on eBay or Amazon, but you can probably find it at your local game store still. Arcane Cataclysm is also a better value, more versatile, and more points in the box. And it's even cheaper if you can split it with a friend or sell half of it on eBay. So bottom line, uh, the new box is pretty average. Um, kind of mediocre compared to the old offerings. I would look at one of these other boxes first if you can find them. Anyway, that just about does it for the video. Thank you so much for watching and listening. And I wanted to thank you all for 500 subs, a recent milestone on the channel. If you like this kind of content and like uh, this sort of hobby philosophy of fighting games, workshops, FOMO marketing, then uh, consider uh, giving us a like or a subscribe and uh, let me know what kind of content you'd like to see in the future. Anyway, thanks as always for watching and until next time, take it easy.